In this action-packed tutorial from The Russell Brown Show, I'm going to be demonstrating something called Content Aware Fill here inside of Adobe Photoshop CS5. In this project, I'm going to extend the pattern of this brick wall into the surrounding transparency around this image. Okay, let's get started. And of course, this is a great image that I acquired from the iStockphoto.com library. Okay. Targeting my image as you see here, let's zoom back out a bit so we can see the entire image. First thing I'm going to show you is that I can use the Select tool to select it. Now that wasn't a tip and technique in itself, but this is because I'm selecting it just up to the edge and not into the transparency, as you see here. Then when I go to the Select menu, select Inverse, I now have the area that I would like to fill with the surrounding texture here in the upper left hand corner. So everything that's not selected will be used as the pattern. If I select the shift key and the delete key on my keyboard now, that's the secret keyboard shortcut to bring up the fill dialog where you can select content aware fill right here. Then click OK. Watch this, wait for it. It should fill this area with the texture of the brick wall. There it is. But wait! Let's hide that selection and zoom in. It looks pretty darn good except for the fact that I didn't want it to include this detail from the arch as part of my wall. I didn't want that blended in even though it did an incredible job of blending that in to the pattern. But how do I get rid of that? It's easy. Let's undo this, zoom back out, and start my project again. But this time, I'm going to make my first selection of the area that I do not want to be included in the pattern. You heard me correctly. Select the area that you don't want to be part of your pattern, just like this. Then going over here, I can click on this icon to turn it into a layer mask. However, I'm going to hold down my Option or my Alt key then click on Add Layer Mask. You will then invert the mask so that it drops out and hides just the area that was selected. So we're left with the brickwork that we want to use as the pattern. Let's start again. Select the brickwork here. Inverse the selection. Shift key, the Delete key, and fill this. However, I'm about to make a mistake a similar mistake that you might make because I forgot to target the image. See how my mask is targeted right now? What I really want is to have the image targeted, then the shift key and the delete key. And of course I showed you that particular error so that you would not make it because I certainly would never have made that error. Moving on, select content aware select OK. So now this time, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys of all ages, it will now fill this region only with the texture that I had originally selected for it to use in the upper left hand corner. See that? Let's hide that selection. A fantastic brick wall with none of that arch detail in it. Let's turn back on the arch and the window with the shift key clicking on the layer mask to reveal it. That is amazing. So keep this technique in mind when you're using Content Aware Fill. You can hide regions that you do not want to be part of the pattern and fill in regions just exactly as you want them to be filled. Give it a try. 